Hi guys, welcome back to another highly requested video and uh, thanks for tuning in back to another video. Thanks for all the comments, the likes, the shares from the previous videos. It's really greatly appreciated and it's obviously helping to grow this channel. So if you are tuning in today and um, so far you have liked the content or that you have liked the level of consistency that I am putting in at least this month, then don't forget to hit that like button, um, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. So let's get to the meat of this video of how I managed to come to Germany. So as I told you guys, of course, um, I started to do a research once I decided that uh, I wanted to come to Germany because it's actually a, it was a God-given direction. Um, I, just, I started to do a research of the pathways that I could use. And the one that came to me immediately because I was, or I had been aware of it before, was to use the job seeker pathway. And uh, this is a pathway that uh, people are using that uh, you apply for a visa and then you're given a visa that's valid for like six months and that visa allows you to come to Germany to seek for a job and within those six months if you get a job then you change you get now a work permit that allows you to continue to stay in the country as long as um, you're working um, but take note of the fact that uh, it's not for everyone of course that's not a pathway that everyone can use because it has conditions and um, uh, we are gonna look into depth onto that uh, pathway in another video but just in a nutshell um, at least I know that you need a university degree and that just the university degree, degree is not enough you need to have at least five years of work experience in your field of study and then you need to have uh, quite some amount of money like I think 5,200 euros or something that, like that in a blocked account or maybe even in a bank statement to show that you can support yourself during the period that you are looking for a job. So again, we are not going to go into depth on that pathway because we are just I'm just trying to share with you which pathway I actually used. So I thought that that one would work for me because if it was the money uh, I, I had that amount and although whatever I had would not have been enough to cover the entire process because there would have been miscellaneous like uh, of course visa application fees, uh, getting like uh, health insurance and uh, flights, oh, all that stuff. So anyway, I knew that I had the, 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 the larger amount, you know, of the money and uh, the miscellaneous, I would just work away around it. So um, I shared with Karen that, yeah, I wanted to go with that pathway and she was like, mm, I have not heard of that. I've never heard of that before, but if it is something that exists, then you can try. But obviously I did not get to use that pathway because what happened is that when I went into the Kenyan uh, website, the uh, the German embassy website for Kenya to book a visa appointment because that is something that you have to do immediately. Uh, you know about your trip to Germany, then you are advised to book an appointment because what I realized even back then was that getting an appointment wasn't easy. You cannot just wake up and book an appointment and go the following day, especially with the pandemic. They're trying to really limit the number of people that are taking interviews on a daily basis. So you can find an appointment that is even two months away, six weeks away, something like that. So what I realized was that there were no appointments uh, for job seeker visa from Kenya and um, job seeker uh, or pair or even uh, volunteers and those are some of the pathways that uh, people have used before to come to Germany and I got a little bit frustrated like okay now what am I going to do because I knew that um, taking the study, study pathway required a lot of money at least to have maybe more than a million Kenya shillings in a blocked account um, and I didn't have that amount as I explained in the previous video and I didn't even see how I would work my way around it. Had my daddy been alive, then he would have definitely uh, been able to help me. But at that point, I just didn't see where that 
amount would come from so study like uh, going to the university to study or maybe even doing a master's um, it's an option it's also a pathway that uh, people have used to come to germany but it wasn't viable for me because of obvious reasons financial reasons so i thought like okay what am i supposed to do was i wrong did i hear god wrong when he said go to germany because clearly i don't see how if i say that i'm applying for a tourist visa i wouldn't qualify because how would i justify the fact that i'm coming to germany to tour during the pandemic it just it makes no sense to say that i, will, I was coming to visit i really did not have anyone um who would like send me you know an invitation and that i would justify why i'm coming to even visit them so that one was also not an option for me which has been an option for some people so um long story short i started to analyze you know the the the, the, the things that my friend karen had shared with me regarding how she came to germany because i asked her like okay which pathway did you use and she said she used the student pathway and i remember clearly her telling me that she got her visa within a day like she applied today and the following day she had a visa and given the fact that i have experience with applying for visas i know that there is no way that you can get a national uh, visa within a day no no not that no it takes some time because they have to do some checks and balances and all that they have to do some research they have to contact the institutions and all that stuff so within one day i just thought mm -mm, okay fine she might have come with a study visa but definitely not the national visa definitely not the long-term visa that you're given that you can study for nine months or one year or so but of course she couldn't really remember her process because everything was done for her she was that lucky she found somebody who was applying and um that person helped her like included her sub sort of in their application and things were very easy for her so she was just being asked okay uh, your name your passport number you know everything was being filled for her she was she she, she couldn't remember so i understood but thank god you know just being attentive to detail you pick one thing here one thing there then you can put one and two together so i realized that yeah she might have used uh, the student or uh, study visa pathway but it cannot be a long term so i thought okay let me check if uh, there is uh, a, 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 like an option for short-term study visa like Schengen study visa so I went back to the website to check for now appointments uh, interview appointments for short-term study visa and by short term if you're applying for a Schengen visa then you're not going to be given a visa for anything more than 90 days the maximum duration of time that your visa is gonna be valid for is gonna be 90 days so I thought you know what I can do a lot with 90 days let me see if that is something that I can try so I go to the website and I find that yes they are they are offering like uh, visas short-term visas for tourists visitors people who are coming for study uh, medical purposes and uh, stuff like that and i'm thinking okay fine i can go with study so of course again when you're going through this process please do your due diligence and do your own research i mean research is free Google should be your friend. Just Google, use YouTube, use whatever resources. There's so much, so many resources, free resources on, online that can give you vital information. So that's exactly what I did because clearly I'm telling you from my friend, I couldn't get much because she couldn't remember so much. She just, for her, coming was so easy. She just found herself here. And yeah, she's been here for four years or so. So yeah. So. I went and started to do research about Schengen study visa. I couldn't get so much information, so I had to watch video after video on YouTube. And you guys are even lucky that I'm sharing this information with you because it's not information that is readily available. So long story short, I, I, I did my research to see like exactly what I needed and what uh, would work for me. And um, once I put everything together, um 
then I went for my interview. Um, when I uh, when I got the slot for an interview, I, I think that was in uh, around early October. That is when I was looking for an interview slot, and the interview slot that I got available was in uh, on, uh, in November, the twenty second of November. So I had like a span of six weeks where I could do my research, gather all my documents, put everything together, make sure that I'm adequately prepared for the interview and nail it and uh, i did all that in the six weeks and let me say one week into the interview date i had everything ready and of course i'm not gonna i don't want this video to be too long because it's already more than 10 minutes but i got everything ready i i i, I was very precise categorized the documents precisely gave evidence for every single document that i provided and uh of course it worked i applied for my visa on uh, on monday and um on friday morning the same week so that is it took four days on friday morning the same week i got my visa and it was issued for 88 days i applied for 88 days of course it was issued for 88 days so yeah precisely that is the pathway that i used and on a whole other video now i'm going to be giving you like the step by step i'm trying going to try and be as detailed as i can of uh, the how or the documents that i used um how i put the documents together and how i was able to justify um the fact that i would come here and also leave the Shenzhen area before the expiration of my visa given that i was unemployed you know that was a really huge challenge for me huge huge challenge because the moment you are unemployed then the visa officers will see that you will have no reason to want to come back to your country like there's nothing that you are coming back to so you have to really justify the fact that uh, i'm only coming for this period of time and this is my reason for coming and after this period then i will go back to my life i have a life to go back to so again i don't want to make this video too long but i hope now you understand that's the pathway that i used to come to germany and i got my visa within the same week and voila i am here and um, of course uh, uh, i applied for language study i like i applied to come and study like an intensive german language course for three months and that is three levels in three months a2 b1 and b2 within three months and it's crazy but that's the pathway that I used. I'm going to go into detail in a whole new video. But I hope so far like the content has been useful to you. And do your research. Go to Google. Start to... If you think that that's a pathway that you can use. Then go to Google. Start to research about uh, whatever you can find. The information that you can find out there. And um, I'm going to be able to share some information of course in another video. But don't rely totally on what i'm telling you because something that worked for me might not work for you for various reasons see i was unemployed maybe you are employed you have to justify why you will be uh like leaving your job for three months to go and study why you have to justify you have to give justifications for all those things so be very diligent about uh, your application and your aspirations anyway thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did of course don't forget to give it a like um share comment subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you on another video tschüss bis später